Oh, hey, it's Mike with Aegis Defense. Hey, we just happened to get the range this evening at uh, a local business here in Minnesota, uh, the Modern Sportsman. Real fantastic shout out to these guys. They let me use their facilities every now and then, and we got a really good relationship going then. Uh, but I wanted to talk about tonight uh, uh, answer a few questions that I was asked recently when working with some church security teams uh, here in Minnesota. And one of those things I was asked is like, hey, you know, just simple questions of what do you recommend for a concealed carry for those internal church security teams? And all kinds of answers would get flown out. Uh, and, you know, not to just push anybody in one particular direction. I don't behold myself to any one gun brand. I'm not a diehard Glockhead. I'm not a SIG fanboy. But I did want to give just my few cents on things that we can look for for that concealed carry for those church internal security teams. And I kind of kind of pull out my top five picks uh, when it comes to that. So uh, without further ado, we're going to dive right into that. So one of my first picks is probably what I carry right now. And even though I said I'm not a diehard Glock guy, I am carrying a Glock 19. Now, particularly the Glock 19 is a fantastic platform. It is still one of the most carried concealed firearms on the market still today. Why? Because, well, uh, 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 Gustav Glock, uh, God rest him, uh, developed a fantastic platform that has, it has stuck around to this day. You know, they, they, their tagline being, you can't top perfection, okay? Uh, are there better fire firearms than this one? Certainly, there's really good stuff out there. But for the baseline, tactical Tupperware out of the box, Glock 19 works really, really well, okay? So, you know, features that, and this is the Gen 5 features that they kind of have. It's, it's simply a utilitarian brick. Okay, uh, they do have a more aggressive grip angle, which is very, very fantastic for what I believe pushing good fundamentals. It kind of forces your hands into correct shooting positions, which I really, really like. Okay, and in addition to, I mean, out of the box, we have ambidextrous controls left and right. Uh, we still have our Picatinny mount on the bottom there uh, for our light, which is a fantastic feature, of course, too. Uh, and of course you can get them now with optic cutouts and me being a dinosaur I still don't have an optic cutout on this one But I do recommend going in the optics route and we're gonna look at a couple tonight that do have the optics mounted to them uh, As we kind of get more into some of the uh, say like SIG, okay, and yes SIG is on the list, okay, so Glock 19 uh, I do recommend it. It's probably my number five choice uh, There's better ones than that out there. In fact, if you wanted to go a little Gucci'er, you could go something like a shadow systems uh, which is, it's essentially a Glock, but it's a little more upscale, uh, a little more quality control, a little higher quality products. Does bump the price bracket up a little bit by a few hundred dollars. Uh, but one of their big calls to fame for the shadow systems are, is that they're much more forgiving on their optic cutout. And I'm going to show you one of those in here in a moment too. Now, if we did want to go a little slimmer, uh, the Sig, uh, Sig Sauer puts out a pretty damn good product called the P365, and they have a whole line of them. The P365 being their subcompact series. Now, me personally, I'm not a big fan of subcompacts. They shoot fine, they're great. I hate my pinky hanging over. Then they came out with the Sig uh, P365 XL, which was a little bit larger, bigger grip, and you could still get 15 rounds in it. But I think the, uh, basically their their piece de resistance, as far as a more compact frame, is their P365 XL Macro. Now, what the Macro does, it's a little bit different, as you can see at the top here, is they do a built-in compensator which the first time firing it, I, I, I didn't think it would do much to it. And actually it does make the firearm fire pretty flat. So even for say, uh, you know, the, uh, the ladies, if they, if they don't like the recoil or bite on say like a Glock 19 or something like that, this tends to fire a lot flatter. It's definitely one that my wife likes a lot. And I've definitely heard, uh, I mean, and, and, not, and not just, you know, I'm into, it, it's a really fantastic uh, a carry gun. And this is a really, really good choice for those, uh, uh, for those church internal security teams because of how flat it shoots and because with a slightly smaller frame I mean you can compare this you can compare this to the Glock 19 and you can see that it is a little bit slimmer particularly in the grip and the slide itself than say even that uh, even that Glock there okay So the P365 macro, really, really good platform, really solid, very reliable, built-in compensator, nice little touch to it. 
and you get a uh, uh, 15 to 17 round mag for these things. Actually, no, this one's even 17, 17 round mags, which is for a frame this size is absolutely stellar. I can't, I can't recommend this one enough. So my number four spot, uh, it's definitely gotta go to the P365 macro. Now, let's say we wanted to go a little more compact, okay? And I am gonna give it up to this one, the Walther PPS off of their PPQ line. And though, again, I mentioned earlier, I don't like my pinky hanging over subcompacts. As a subcompact itself, I think the Walther PPQ is pretty, or PPS, excuse me, is pretty fantastic. Now, I do mention it because out of the box for such a small frame, for being very thin as well, uh, for being really concealable. I mean, heck, you can even throw this thing into your pocket. The Walther PPQ line, which includes the PPS, has hands down the best trigger out of the box of any striker fire. And striker fire uh, uh, triggers typically out of the box, man, they're pretty garbage. They're squishy, they're, there's take up on them, there's some sponginess, maybe even some grit in there. You know, the, uh, the uh, M uh, P 2.0 series, though I love the grip on those things, uh, and actually it is on my list, it does have a bit of a spongy trigger. Walter P the Walter PQ series, not at all. Very crisp, with very little take up on that trigger, okay? And, one thing with this though that you do have to watch is that it does not have, this particular one doesn't have the optic cutout, nor does it have a Picatinny rail, so you're not really gonna rock a flashlight on the end of this. So, but for an internal church security team, conceal carry, if you wanted something more slim, form-fitting, uh, easily concealable on you, you can't go wrong with the, the Walter PPS. Uh, really, really good trigger. But you know, for that matter, any of the PPQ line, uh, would do really well. They make their own compact version, which is their competition against the Glock 19. Very, very fantastic handgun. Can't go wrong with them. Uh, I would, I'll, I'll rave about that trigger every day of the week. Very, very crisp and clean. Now, this is basically a Glock. This is the Shadow System CR920. Their whole uh, uh, R line, or 920 line, whatever you want to call it, Really, really fantastic firearms. It is a bit of a Gucci or Glock. It is on my list uh, sitting at number three, but honestly, you can interchange any of those. The MR920, uh, the XR920, which is kind of their hybrid, kind of like a Glock 19X. Uh, but this is the CR, which is their their compact, uh, uh, they call it CR, means the R means ready, so it's carry ready, their 920 line, okay? What I really like about these is one, I mentioned that optic cutout, it sits a little bit lower and the milling is fantastic. So it's really forgiving with what kind of optic you actually want to put on that firearm, okay? In addition to that, I find the grip compared to, let's say, the Walther uh, PPS is a lot, is a little bit meatier, it's a little thicker, more robust, and I really, really enjoy that. The trigger pull on it, for being a striker fire, it's not as good as the PPS or the PPQ line for uh, uh, by those uh, crafty Germans, but it is a good trigger pull still. Chris, very little take up and definitely better than Glocks out of the box. So if you wanted a, a Gucci or Glock, this would definitely be a way to go. Some of the other nice features about this, if you're kind of the person that likes to do press checks, you do have nice uh, 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 texturing on the top there where I can easily press check that down and look. I even have serrations on the side where I can do a press check like that as well. Uh, if you're into that, we do have the Picatinny mount on the front, so we can mount a flashlight to this guy too. Firm believer in having a weapon light on that firearm uh, uh, at all times. It's a really, really good tool to have uh, in an emergency situation. So the CR920 by Shadow Systems is really good. And you know, if you're a veteran or uh, military or law enforcement, they have a really good Patriots Protector program. So you can actually get a fairly decent discount on these as well uh, by basically sending, uh, filling out a form, showing your DD-214 if you're military or your creds or uh, military ID. Uh, and, and you can uh, capitalize on that deal. And, you know, and I was sitting here talking about this this might end up being my next my next carry. These are these are really really nice firearm like. Okay, first off we got the Sig P320C, uh, uh, their their carry line. Okay, it is a little more compact. Essentially, it is their competitor against the Glock 19, sitting into that compact frame series. I do have some qualms with it. I think their Picatinny system is one of the best, where you have multiple rail slots on here for fitting larger uh, light systems. They've got a uh, good cutout system, not as good as the as the Shadow systems, definitely. But the one qualm that I honestly have about these, and, and they're good, reliable guns, is their triggers are incredibly squishy out of the box. The take-up is good, 
but it's one of the spongiest and springiest triggers uh, that I have felt, almost like a, almost like a toy. Okay, it does have the serrations on the front uh, for doing press checks. Uh, if you're into that kind of thing, and you can get them with the suppressor sight, uh, the, the uh, suppressor sights are set on this one, uh, so they sit a little higher, lined up with the Sig Romeo optic, and it, you know it's a pretty decent carry gun. Okay, but honestly, I think my go-to though over uh, this one, and again, it's probably pretty even, uh, is the next shadow system. I do prefer the shadow system. Here we have the MR920, okay? So their next size up. This is essentially a Glock 19, a little gucci up, okay? And the reason I like it is a couple reasons. First off, we have the flag, mirror, uh, flag, uh, can't talk tonight. We have the flared magwell on the bottom. And typically I don't care for the uh, flared magwells, but this one feels really easy and intuitive. It, it, it's a good flare on it, it's fantastic. And with it being a Glock, I mean, it's gonna fit any of those Glock holsters that you already have. Really, really good system. In addition, we have the optic cutout on there. We have the front Picatinny system. The stipling though, your grip texture on the sides of it is, is really, really nice. I like it. It reminds me of a Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0. I do like the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0. Uh, the one thing I don't like about them, I like their triggers even less than the SIGs, okay? Uh, again, it's just my taste on that. So I, I would say, you know, between this one and my number one spot, between the Shadow Systems M, uh, MR920 and the SIG Compact, I would probably grab the MR920 myself, but that's more because I right now I'm carrying a Glock 9 and this to me it, it it feels a little more intuitive we have that nice grip angle on it nice stipling and and it, uh, but you know downside of these glocks because it is still a glock it is a better trigger than a regular glock out of the box but it's still a glock trigger hands down okay it's got some springiness to it it still feels a little goofy this trigger, though, is infinitely better than the SIG trigger, even the P365, even the 320 line, their M17s and M18s, okay? It is a lot better. So, number one spot, probably going to go to the MR920, but honestly, it's it's a toss-up. The SIG P320 is still a fantastic firearm, too. You can't go wrong. Now, really, these are just kind of my picks that I've liked, and those varying from subcompacts to compacts. You know, the what I tend to avoid, though, for at least concealed carriers, I tend to avoid full size. I mean, but if you want to carry a full size, by all means, you do you. You do what you want to do. And ultimately, th these are only personal opinions. These are what I liked uh, about these firearms. And, you know, between the shadow systems being really, really great as far as just being an upscaled Gucci or Glock with a few quality of life features, flared mag wells and the extended uh, slide release uh, and the better optic cutouts you know they're, they're really fantastic and you you can't go wrong with either one with their competitor against the Glock 19 with the MR920 uh, or say even their uh, compact line with the CR920. Uh, I do think the magazine release is a little bit stiffer on that CR920. Uh, however, everything else between the, the trigger and that slide catch and release and the optic cutout, very, very fantastic. This is a nice real uh, subcompact firearm. I, I, think it, I think they make a really, really good product, okay? Uh, you know, really liked the macro with its built-in compensator into that slide. Uh, it, it really does make a difference. It makes it shoot just a little bit flatter. And with it being just a little bit longer grip, I think it's a little bit better, at least as far as my ergonomics, what I like working with. I didn't like the P365 when it came out. I never liked my pinky hanging over when I'm reloading. It always feels just a little bit off and goofy, okay? Again, just personal preference. Uh, and, you know, we can't go tr uh, wrong with the venerable uh, Glock 19. Uh, it's been around for a long time. It works. It's effective. It, it, it does what it needs to do. It's our utilitarian brick. Okay? Even with that spongy trigger, you know, it, it still does what it needs to do. And it's a very reliable handgun. And then, you know, with the, the P3, uh, excuse me, the P320 carry, uh, you know, just a smaller frame of that M17 line, the, the 320 line from Sig Sauer. Uh, it, it's a pretty decent firearm, good optic cutouts. Uh, I think the trigger with the SIGs, I'm not impressed by them at all. They feel, they, I mean, you, you can, you can, you can hear it. It feels spongy. And I'm not a big fan of that sponginess on the trigger. It's, it's, the wall feels less crisp when you're pulling back on that. Uh, but, you know, there, there's a lot of good firearm companies out there that make really, really good products, okay? And, and personally, I'm not beholden to any one myself. Uh, I like them all, okay? You know, you know just the, the meme, I, I just, I like them all. You know, FN makes a pretty decent product. Uh, the, the 509 series it is a pretty good firearm, okay? And they have pretty good optic cutouts as well. 
and I think the trigger, especially compared to SIG, and as far as the striker fired, I think they make a bigger, uh, a better trigger than a lot of other companies out there. So I do like FN. I think they make a pretty damn good product. And, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be against uh, carrying something like that. Uh, ultimately though, you know, Walther with the PPQ line, the PPS, their triggers out of the box, they're, they're perfect. You're not gonna get any better than that. So ultimately that's just kind of my lineup for, you know, kind of top conceal carries, what, what you could have on your person uh, for church security teams. You know, take what you will from that, uh, you know, what information you want from it and forge your own path, figure out what works for you. But ultimately in the end, don't forget to train. Training is crucial. You know, this is just a, a piece of metal and plastic is sitting with some rounds sitting in your pocket and it's worthless if you're not getting trained, okay? You, you, need, to, you need to expose yourself uh, to, uh, to training events, expose yourself to more information and continue to seek and educate yourself to make you not only uh, a more effective concealed carrier, makes you a better citizen, makes you a more informed human being. And that's, you know, that's all you can really ask for. So, all right, God bless and good night and be prepared, not scared.